Hey, what's up you guys? The name is Suedo and welcome back to my channel of Nature and Pets. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an animal enthusiast with over 30 animals and I happen to be 16 weeks pregnant today. Baby Bean is about the size of a Philippines tarsier. They average about the size of a human fist and they have the largest eye to body ratio of any mammal in the mammal kingdom. They are super cute and really interesting creatures. So if you want to learn more about them, I have some links down in the description below. This week, we're going to be testing out some old wives tales that I found online and that I've heard through family members and friends. And we're gonna see if there's any truth to them to find out what Baby Bean's gender is going to be. We will not be finding out Baby Bean's gender until Baby Bean is born. So I figured this would be a fun little way for us to kind of take a guess or a gander before they grace us with their presence in July. So I do have about 16 of these old wives tales that do guess on what baby's gender might be. If you notice me glancing down every now and again during this video, it's because I have some notes written down and I wanna make sure I am reading these old wives tales accurately. We will be keeping score of team boy and team girl to see which of these comes out on top according to these old wives tales. So let's get right into it. So one of the very first old wives tales that I came across is how you are carrying the baby will determine the gender of your baby. I am carrying quite low, even at 16 weeks pregnant. I know that as I progress, I might start to grow a little further, but as of right now, I'm carrying quite low. And according to the old life cells, if you're carrying low, it's a boy. If you're carrying high, it's a girl. Since I'm carrying low, this old lifestyle says that I am carrying a boy. So that is one point for team boy. The next old lifestyle states that if you have pregnancy acne or blemishes on your face while you are going through pregnancy, it is more than likely that you are having a girl because she is stealing your beauty. And I've actually have experienced some pregnancy acne, primarily around my chin. And according to this, because I have pregnancy acne, I'm going to be having a girl. So that is a point for team girl. The next old wife style that predicts gender and pregnancy is is based on your body temperature. If you are feeling colder, you are supposed to be said to have had a boy. If you are feeling warmer, you're supposed to have a girl. I have had a consistent body temperature that has stayed around 97 degrees, which is typically normal for a human, but we average around 98.3 degrees. So having a body temperature of 97 means I'm running just a little bit colder than normal. So based on that, that's another point for team boy. The next old wife cell states that if your baby's heart rate ranges around 140 beats per minute, it is going to be a boy. But if it's higher than 140 beats per minute, it's going to be a girl. And based off of previous exams, my baby's heart rate has been pretty steady about around 150, 155, meaning their heart rate's a little faster, which predicts that we're going to have a little baby girl. So that's another point for team girl. It's really interesting. We're kind of neck and neck right now. It's only the first four though. We still have about 12 to go. Next old wife's tale predicts baby's gender based off of your cravings. If you've been craving salty things, then you're more than likely going to have a boy. But if you've been craving sweet things, you're looking at a girl. And if you saw my last pregnancy symptom video, you will note that I have been craving salty things. And according to that, that means that's another point for team boy. Another really interesting old wife's tale well, rather, it's a cultural thing. Both Chinese and Mayan cultures predict the baby's gender based off of the year the baby was conceived and the age of the person who is pregnant. If your baby was conceived on an even year and your age is even, you're going to have a girl. If your baby was also conceived on an odd year and your age is odd, you're going to have a girl. But if one is even and the other is odd, you're going to have a boy. Baby Bean was conceived in the year 2021 and at the time, my age is 25 meaning baby is going to be a girl. So another point for team girl. Another really interesting one is also based on pregnancy symptoms. And this one states that if you've experienced heavy nausea and or morning sickness or rather all day sickness, then you're going to have a baby girl. I have been fortunate to not have experienced any of that. So I guess that's another point for team boy. So this next one's a fun one. I've heard very many variations of this old wife's tale. I used to play this game when I was a little kid, which is kind of funny when you think about it now, but essentially what you do, there's two variations that I am aware of. You grab a necklace. Typically it has to be a chain necklace, but I don't have one right now. So we're just gonna go with my little tourmaline necklace. Shout out to my sister for giving me this for Christmas. And basically what you do 
According to this old wives tale that I read, you place it on your belly for a few minutes, or rather, sorry, you place it on your belly for a few seconds, then you lift it, and if it goes back and forth, it's going to be a girl, but if it goes in a circle, it's going to be a boy. The variation I grew up playing when I was a little kid is you put it in your fist, you hold it really, really tight, and you kind of visualize the baby that you want to have. And then after a few seconds, you open up your hand, you grab the necklace from the very tip end, and then based on what you get, well, this one's a swing back and forth, that's going to determine the gender of your baby. And according to this back and forth swing, we're going to have a girl. <laughs> so based off of our little necklace prediction, we're going to have a baby girl. The next one is also quite interesting and it involves my partner. It states that if your partner has been experiencing sympathy pains and actually gained pregnancy weight along with you, you're having a girl. My partner has actually lost some weight, so I guess that means I'm having a boy. So that's another point for team boy. Next one says that rumor has it if you have had swollen ankles throughout pregnancy, you are more than likely going to have a boy. I have experienced no swollen ankles during this pregnancy so far, which I guess means that's a point for team girl. So this next one I feel is a little bit unfair because I'm quite a clumsy person, but it states that if you have experienced some clumsiness throughout your pregnancy, you're going to have a boy. But if you've experienced increased gracefulness, then you're going to have a girl. I'm, like I said, a generally clumsy person, so that really hasn't changed much. But according to this old wives tale, I'm going to have a baby boy. Looks like boy is winning out on this one. Interesting. I wonder if baby girl will catch up. Next old wife still states that if you've been having crazy pregnancy dreams, the rumor is that your baby's going to be the opposite gender of the gender that you're dreaming about. I have been having a lot of really weird pregnancy dreams that kind of coincide with both male and females, but I feel like I've been dreaming a little bit more about males. So our baby is going to be, according to this, a female. So another point for teen girl. The next one is another pregnancy symptom related one. It states that if you've been experiencing frequent pregnancy headaches, that you're going to have a baby boy. I have been experiencing a surmountable amount of headaches and I am not one to get headaches. So according to this, I'm going to have a baby boy. The very next old lifestyle states that if your urine has been a bright yellow, it's going to be a boy. If it has been a dull light yellow, it's going to be a girl. I feel like this is very subjective whether you're super hydrated or not hydrated and it depends on what prenatal vitamins you're taking but that might just be me thinking too hard into it my urine has been a bright yellow again i have a feeling it has to do with my prenatal vitamins but based off of this old wife so that's another point for team boy the next one is asking about my mood this old wife still states that if you've been happy calm and mellow you're going to have a baby boy but if you've been extremely moody, you're gonna have a baby girl. Unfortunately, my partner knows this very well. I have been quite moody since I became pregnant. So according to this old wife's tale, that's a point for teen girl. <laughs> this next old wife's tale I heard from my mom, and it states that the gender of the baby is going to be opposite of the gender that is attracted most towards you in terms of little kids. So if little boys are wanting to spend more time with you, your baby's going to be a girl. If little girls are wanting to spend more time with you, your baby's going to be a boy. So I guess according to that, that's another point for team girl, which I find quite interesting and intriguing. <laughs> so in an unexpected turn of events, we have actually tied both team girl and team boy, meaning oh. it's really 50-50 on what my baby's gender is going to be. The, really decide the one that was really going to be the deciding factor was going to be the old necklace trick and since that gave us a team girl, we ended up with a tied set of numbers for each team. If it was team boy, team boy would have won out by two points, but because it was team girl, we ended up with a tied even number, which is okay because honestly that's kind of where we're at <laughs> with our baby's gender we really don't know what it's going to be and we're super excited to find out regardless of our baby's gender we're going to be extremely happy and we're looking forward to having a new addition in our life we truly cannot wait for baby bean to be born and to well and to welcome them into our family this coming july there's so much to be excited for and there's so much to look forward to let me know which old wives tale was your favorite and let me know if you have any other ones that i haven't mentioned here in this video if you have any questions or any suggestions for videos, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. 
I'm thinking about introducing some more of my pets to you guys next week. This was a fun little experiment and I'm really looking forward to my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!